Last time, the heroes revealed their origin stories and shared a group hug with a lonely pirate and a frog hemoth. Then, the green vibers tried unsuccessfully to establish a catchphrase and Val shattered the self-esteem of Deidre the Slinker, who quietly vowed revenge. Then, the group made their way into a shrine of Nang Nang, a place full of skulls and secrets that may contain another piece of the dreamer's amulet. Alright, um, so, if you remember, trying to get the four pieces of the dreamer's amulet, you got the oracle's eye, which is a little orange thing, and, um, you've come, to, you're tracking down this woman who apparently died in the shrine of Nang Nang, and... You went in, and the walls are skulls, and the eyes glow red, and the ceiling's made of bones. And so there's these four altars. If you remember, there was... So there's four bodies on the altars total. And remember, Hoppy is... There's stairs that go down, and there's a square entrance up above, and Hoppy's kind of stuck in them. He's stuck. Alright, so... <laughs> Hoppy's I... stuck in the entrance. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We'll get him out. He's slimy, so... Yeah. Okay. You should slide out. So there's four altars. Uh, there's one with a body where the moisture is is drained from it, and the, the walls are wet. You just did that one. Uh, there's a, the hairless body, and the skulls across have beards and hair. And there's the uh, pale body that seems to be drained of blood. The skulls across from it are red with blood. And then uh, the last one is a skeletal creature, and the skulls are covered in flabby, drooping flesh. So you've got three you haven't dealt with. So, Hairless body, drained of blood, skeletal. And, and so last time we grabbed a chunk of, like, the meat yeah. that was up in that field. Yes. Right? You know, so I was considering maybe, maybe can we remove, like, the hair from the skulls and see if we put it on the, on the altar, if that would work? Huh. You do that? Mm. I'll, Who's touching I'll the try... hair of the skulls? Uh, well, it was Mistletoe's idea, so I guess... No, no, no. Let Here Ramrod handle this. No, no, no. no, no. Let Ramrod handle this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I uh, offered. Mistle, mistletoe will, tr will try it, because Mistletoe has got into the habit of touching things he shouldn't. So you, so. <laughs> you yoink it, not, nothing bad happens. You're going to put it on the altar? Uh, yes. Okay, when you put the hair on the altar, the skull wall slides open with a clank, clank, clank noise, and it reveals another room. In that room, it's just like a little square room. On the floor is a big pile of different colored hair all tied together in a big lump. Uh, uh, it's like the inside of a drain. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll, uh, what did we do to solve the puzzle the last time? What was there was a skull in the fire. And you put out the fire and you grab the skull. And as soon as you grab the skull, psh, you were... So, if we cut away this hair, we should get to something. Um, I've neglected to actually get a scythe or anything sharp, so unfortunately. Does anyone have something to cut it with? Ramrod will take out both of his hand axes and just go cutting away at this thing. Okay. Okay. Cut in I and was going to take out some daggers, but Ramrod's got it. Yeah. <laughs> so you uh, cut away the hair, and there's something. Yeah, it just goes it's like it. a ball in the middle. Oh, he grabs the ball. It's a skull. It was woven oh, ball. into all the hair. And when you grab nice. the skull, you hear a clanking noise. That's two of four. So there's two altars left. There's the bloodless body and the skeletal body. So if we theoretically collect items from the skulls across from the altar, we can feed the altars and open the doors, right? Yes. Uh, Zavagor goes to the skeletal one. And uh, Cross he's got his like alchemist supplies. I would imagine there'd be like tongs and stuff in there. So he just starts like peeling off bits of flesh and putting it on the altar. Okay, um, that works. It slides open, and in the room you see a still pool of water. Pool of water. Yes. Okay. Um, it's glowing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Um, oh. I'll cast Burning Hands on it to try and, like, evaporate all the water away. I guess there's a lot of steam in the room. D does the water go away? Uh, some of it, I guess, yeah. Some of it? <laughs> yeah. Um, as, as it clears, you see something in the pool. You know okay, I... I, I reach down and grab it. It's a skull! Clank, clank, clank! Right. That's three. The last one, I think, is the blood one, right? <laughs> Yeah, so we so got what do you do with the blood one? Well, Val actually has a pot in her kit, mm. and so she's going to start collecting some of the blood in the pot from the walls. Okay. Okay. So you have a pot of blood, and then what? Yeah. She'll just tip it onto the altar, like... Okay. Uh. It slides open and reveals a room that's got a trench filled with blood in a square. I, I don't know. Like a pot moat. of blood. Pot of blood sounds like an inventory item that is just too cool to, to give up. <laughs> we can collect I'm more. I'm stuck. <laughs> and a great band name. <laughs> Pot of blood. What do you do? There's a trench of blood. This doesn't seem hygienic. All the, uh, the red eyes of yeah. the skulls are staring at you. That, that's never bothered Ramrod before. Ramrod's just gonna go right into the trench and start fishing around for a skull. There's a skull in there. What do you do? Perfect. He grabs it and yanks it as hard as he can. The whole place... <laughs> the whole place rumbles, and four <sighs> back walls of each room whoosh, slide open and reveal the central room. In the central room... <clears throat> okay, there's a skull painted on the ground, and the teeth of the skull are five red gems. And uh, what else we got? Oh, two dead bodies in here. One, they both look like adventurer types. Uh, let's see. Are uh, any of them female? Why, yes. Mm. Uh, one is mm. of an elf. She's wearing around her neck a half moon made of brass. With a little, like, indent circle halfway in it. Why, what is the matter of her death? What does it look like she died from? Mm. Let's see. Claw marks and bite marks and like pieces of her body are just torn off. Suddenly, okay. the two rubies start floating in the air. What do you do? Oh, God. Oh. Can I use my mage hand to grab one? Yeah, make an arcana. Okay. Ugh. That's a five. Okay. So you you can't quite hold it. And they zoom, zoom. Each one embeds themselves in the body of the corpse. And they, like, get up. And their claws, like, claws grow out of their fingers. And their mouths get bigger. And they got, like, a big tongue coming out. Yep. No. Maul's yeah. out. Emrod's yeah. raging. So we got to roll right initiative. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Shillelagh. Ooh, great. Seventeen. Okay. All right. For the two. What about 18. Ramrod? What'd you get? 18. What about Val? 15. 15 for Val. And what about Zavagor? 20. My goodness. All right, Zavagor, you get to go first. These two undead adventurers with huge claws. They're starting to drool. What do you do? I say, you're icky! And I, and I shoot them with my Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, and I get an 11? 11. Um, just misses. Dang. Alright, is that it for Zav? Yeah. Ramrod, your turn. Um, <clears throat> so is there anything discernibly different about either one of these individuals that have these gems embedded in their heads? One's male, one's female. Alright. Both um, look like they have long claws and big mouths with sharp teeth. Okay, so Ramrod is going to use his bonus action to rage, and he is going to charge in with his maul and swing recklessly for advantage at the male one. And eh, 13? Yes. All right. That was almost a power score. So just saying. Oh, Ooh. darn. So close. Uh, 10 damage, bludgeoning. Alright, 10 damage. So you run up and you hit it in the head with your maul? Yep, maul, right across the face. damage, okay. It's hurt pretty bad, actually. 
staggers back after Ramrod is me. So, oh, Ram no. Ramrod, one of them lunges at you. Bring it. It's going to try to bite you. It opens its huge mouth and it lunges forward. You know, I'll use my claws. It tries to claw you. Total of 20. Wow. All right, that's so a hit. Swipe. You take 7 damage and make a constitution saving throw. Okay. That's a 21. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> the other one, I so, guess, will go for Zavi. Because okay. he shot at me. It runs up to you and is going to try to claw you. Plus four. Another. All right, total of 20. So you take seven damage and make a constitution saving throw. Okay, I got a 21. You're fine. Okay. Toe, mistletoe. Yeah. It's um, your turn, buddy. Uh, okay, I will uh, cast Shillelagh, move, and strike at the one that's been uh, hitting my buddy, uh, Ramrod. Okay. So I'll wait into combat. Okay. I hit on a 23. Okay, boom, you hit it. How much damage? Seven. Nice. Okay, like, um, I guess it's chest, like, caves in. There's a bigger hole in there. No. Does it's, it a drop, it, though? It's hurt. <laughs> no, oh, no, but it's staggering around. All right. Is that it for okay. Toe? That's it for Toe. Okay, it's Val's turn. Okay, so is there just the one left now? There's still two. One is hurt There's very badly. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to cast Magic Missile. Alright. It's 3d4 plus 3. 3d4. 3. 4. It's... Okay. 3. It plops to the ground. Inert. You just... you def It's down. So there's only one left. Alright. As a bonus action, Val's just gonna... Poke it to see if it gets back up. It does not. It does not. <laughs> but the skull's eyes, like some of them, turn to look at you. And the eyes are getting brighter. Uh, oh no. She, she's and their mouth is starting to move a little bit, like, like that. Uh. Alright. Zavagor. There's one of these undead creatures left. What do you do? Okay. Uh, is the uh, is the ruby thing like in the forehead or is it? Yes. Uh, it, so it's visible. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. I'm gonna shoot my eldritch blast as as carefully as I can straight at the ruby. Okay. Uh, man, if I can get a decent roll, I got a twelve. Okay. I, it's so funny. I was thinking if he gets a power score, this is gonna work. You just got a power <laughs> score. Explosion. Yeah. Bam! Boom! It is gone. You destroyed it. Oh wow! Great. Perfect. What a mechanic. So <laughs> hey, uh, uh, they've got they've got stuff on them. What do you do? Uh, well, yeah, we take a look at the uh, the necklace. I'm going to use my um, my mage sight to see if uh, if that necklace is magical. It my is. eldritch sight. It is. It is. Okay, and, and it says I can also kind of tell what kind of magic it is, like what school it comes from. I think, I think it's divination. You have uh, you have the uh, oracle's eye, I believe. It looks like the oracle's eye will actually fit in this thing, but only half of it. It looks like there's another half moon and they come together, and then you can put the oracle's eye right in it. Ah, uh, okay. And then there's also a hole that something else seems to go in. So once you get the two half moons, you stick the oracle's eye in, then you need something else... And then you will have the whole Dreamer's Amulet. Perfect. So, mm -hmm. There's other stuff. Do you want to? Do you want to loot these people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Check out what's all, what else is on the one at least I'm looking at. There are about four it. glass vials, full each full of red liquid. And okay. um, and there's they have a hundred gold total on them, so that would be twenty five. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Sure. And, um, so as you're doing that, Zavagor, uh, a whole bunch of 
red eye beams like laser into your chest and head <laughs> from the skulls. Okay. And you hear like a loud like whirring sound. What do you do? Um, okay. So in this room there's nothing but a painted skull and a couple of bodies, yeah? And the walls are full is made of skulls with red eyes. Okay. Um, and you also notice the ones shooting beams at you have a symbol on their head. Symbol on their head. Okay. Um trying to think quickly. Um I will oh, oh nope, can't do that. Um I They say Demon and then they shift their beams to mistletoe. What do you do, Toe? You don't feel anything. But there's a whole bunch of red beams of light on your chest they, forehead. They say demon. Oh, okay. They say um, they look at you for a second and they go, Fay and like it echoes through the place. And they zoom on oh. to Ramrod. Ramrod, what do you do? Oh. I smash one of the skulls in the face with my maul. Pull <laughs> a... Uh, ta make a strength check. Am I still raging? Sure. Awesome. Get advantage. Uh, 20? Okay, yeah. Bam! You destroy one. And just like outside, you know, you destroy the skeletons and immediately they started shaking, coming together same thing's happening with the pieces of this skull and so all the like a lot of the skulls around you turn and look and you're right there right so you can see the symbol it's like of a frog person holding a spear just the silhouette of them and the beams hit you and they say phoenix and then they zoom into val what do you do oh now? no she just brings brings her cooler stuff up and tries to cover her face um okay they yell devil then all the skulls in the whole place start saying, Dang Dang, Dang Dang, Dang Dang. What have we, uh, have we got what we came for? <laughs> you have the piece of the Dreamer's Amulet. Should we, uh, perhaps evacuate? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, you guys, let's get out of here. I'll so just, they're, yeah, they're, let's just run. they're saying, Dang Dang, Dang Dang, and you guys are running out. So there's the stairs, and at the top you see a frog hemoth <laughs> butt and feet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ramrod's gonna just run and give it a shoulder and uh. Okay, yeah, make, a, make, a, all, make a strength check. I'm gonna try to can I aid that? Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Okay. It's, mm, well you get an advantage, I think, because he's aiding you. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. See if I get any better. Yeah, thirteen. Okay. Mm, not quite enough. And here's what happens. There's beams on each one of you from the skulls in the hallway. And they say in unison. Seek the egg, the petrified egg. End the curse. Feel the boon of Nang Nang. And you all feel weird. And then all of a sudden, like, the beams are hitting you and it's getting louder and louder. Then all the eyes just shut off and go dark and there's no beams or anything. And you all feel tingly. <sighs> well, that was like this. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> just, I keep on pushing it. Okay. Slimy frog hemoth butt. He slides out. Okay. I like to imagine there's a little pop as he's coming out. <laughs> Who's going up the stairs first? Uh, I'll go. Okay. This looks like your feet feel weird. Like, your foot kind of, you know, the step is like, meh, meh, you hit the this mm. part, and mm -hmm. you actually feel like you could stand on it sideways. You know what I mean? Like you could stand on a wall if you wanted. Yeah. Okay. Um... I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll find this kind of odd and weird, but I'll, I'll keep on going up. I'll just step up onto the, uh, onto the ground, the normal old, old okay. fashion. You go outside, you don't see anything other than Hoppy. Yeah, I'll and the bloody check the coast. Foot tall yeah. grass. Oh, uh, you guys saw him. You saw him. His foot went weird. What? Who's going up next? Or what do you guys do? Oh, Ramrod's gonna run up. Okay. You two feel weird the way you walk. Like your feet are very um, sticky. If you want them to be. Are there any trees around? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Ramrod's going to try to run up and, like, start walking up the tree. You do. You have a climb speed equal to your regular speed. And it wow. looks like you can walk on vertical surfaces and maybe even the ceiling. All of you Ramrod's really excited. He's like, he's, like, trying to jump from tree to tree now with just his feet. This is a dangerous idea to give. All right, make it athletic. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. 
Oh, guys, I can fly. No, you can't. Natural 20. Okay, so you guys see him, like, just parkour, you know, in a tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. He's actually quite good at that. <laughs> you might not get Ramrod back out of the forest. <laughs> Ramrod out uh, of the jungle. <laughs> yeah, the jungle. Zavagor says, does anyone know who this Aang Aang actually is and why we why this is his boon? Um, I'll, I, I'll, can we make it like a nature check? or, uh, or <laughs> I wish I could make a nature well, check. Uh, okay, brains, a history you, check? You've never heard of this Nang Nang. Maybe someone in the city knows. Maybe Park, Park, Park Poe or somebody we could talk to I, about. I hate to say it, but maybe we should talk to Quayote about it. Uh, you should I, hate to say that, because that's a that's a hateful thing to I, say. I I do hate to say that. Uh, but also, I want to know why those skulls were shooting their lasers at us, and yeah, what on what I, on earth they were saying. I know why they called you demon, obviously, but I'm very confused about the rest. Uh, I have my suspicions yeah. about myself. Uh, I wouldn't speak for anyone else, but I've met the Fae. Um, and I work for one, actually, but I can't really say who at the moment. Um, I'd suggest we go back to Pac Mark Poe. He was the man who sent us here in the first place, so perhaps he would know more about Nag Nag. Sure. Mm. I'll look but, to Ramrod. I'll, I want to see if Ramrod, by the way, has gotten himself in trouble by this point or not, because I, I feel obliged to keep track of him. So... I'll, yeah, I have I'll a feeling Ramrod's probably like is. hanging by his foot off of a branch or something, swinging. <laughs> yeah, if that's the case, Mistletoe will just you know go over and start to help him down, or maybe do a thorn whip thing to like let the vine hey, drop. Hey, Mistletoe, we go do down. we go do Nang Nang thing again before we leave. Uh, this is fun. <laughs> uh, we could try it at at uh, at the city too, you know. I mean, we could we could really test this stuff out on the on all the uh, on all the ancient temples and stuff. That'd be fun. Wouldn't oh. it? Yep, Ramrod, ready to go. Let's go, city. Come on, everybody. He's just marching off back towards the city. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you want uh, make your way through the jungle back to the port nine, Zaru? Yeah. 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 Okay. I think that's. It starts raining and it rains the entire way back. Um, it's, it's like very. Heavy rainfall, and um, by the time Val covers Val covers her head with the pot, the blood pot. <laughs> Does it still yep. have blood in it? So no, it's no, blood and water probably, in it. Like it's probably little no. bits dripping out now. <laughs> yes. Uh, Start humming Toto. Okay, so you go back to the city. Uh, the rain stops as you get there. Um. And you want to go? Do you want to go to the pirate ship, or do you want to go right to Pockmark Poe? Did we give Poe the first bit of the Jimmer's amulet? You have both of them still. Oh. Zavagor has both. Zavagor has both. And mm -hmm. um, all right. And and who took the blood vials? I'm sorry, the red 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 the red vials from the bodies. Was that Zavagor as well? You just say you uh, took one. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Ramrod gives his the mistletoe. Two vials in mistletoe's inventory. Also, can I can I uh, Eldritch sight that to see if they're magical? They are magical. Perfect. They look very healy. Hmm. Healy potion made of red liquid. I eh? I don't it's know what this could be. Spark. We'll have to get a diamond together and cast an identify spell on this at a local <laughs> merchant. <laughs> Um, what do people feel like doing? Should we go to Poe first, or should we... Uh, Zavagor is very interested in going to Poe. So as you go through the streets, um, as mm -hmm. you walk in, once in a while a person will go, Oh, hey, you you won the race! They point at Val, and then they'll be like, they'll be like, hey, remember Ram? And the other guy's like, Rod? Ho, ho, ho! They, they give each other a high five. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ramrod's already, Ramrod's already trying to practice his parkour on the sides of the building. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. People are like, Val, ooh. Val is just uh, reveling in it, like, waving around and trying to give people her autograph. <laughs> some people, yeah, some people want it. Okay. 
So you make your way through the city, and you go to Old City, where the three ziggurats are. And you go to his tent, and some of his daughters are there, but he's not there. And they say, oh, um, we'll go get him. You guys just wait here. Just stay here. Don't leave. And she starts running. Uh, are we the only people left in the room? There's two other daughters uh, watching the merchandise, the tapestries, and the trinkets. Curses. In what direction does she seem to be running? She's running her? toward yeah. uh, one of the ziggurats up front. There's two right by the exit. Are these the ones that we appeared in? Nope, you appeared in the other one toward the back. All right. Do you do anything while she goes, or...? I'm uh, I'm holding down all of Hoppy's tentacles and being like, no, no stealing, no eating, it's okay. okay. Um, I'll try following I've her. Got, I've got some like, my eyes, <laughs> trying to see how where exactly she's going off to. Uh, Ram Ramrod, like... Ramrod's saying that Mistletoe's interested in seeing where she's going. Uh, he he'll put a hand on Mistletoe's shoulder and go, Ramrod got this, and he's gonna try to like stealthily do his parkour thing along the sides of the building to follow her to see where she's going. Okay, so make us two things: a stealth and an athletics. Yeah, the stealth probably is not gonna work here. <laughs> uh, Eleven on the bang, stealth. Bang, bang, bang. Mm. But an eighteen on the athletics. <laughs> Who would notice a Goliath running along the walls of a city? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thinks it's doing just fine. Well, a lot of them are bamboo huts. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. But you, you find sturdy things to jump on. Okay, she's going up the steps to the very top of the cigarette. You could run up the side. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's happening. Okay, so you run up the side, um, and then there's the top part has just a little building. So you're on one side of the wall. And they're over here, you know. So right now you're behind the corner and they can't see you. Do you want to peek around or just listen or what? Yeah, just sort of peek his head up over. All right, make another stealth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So that's a whole four. Okay, so you peek <laughs> your head around and they all... Hey, what are you guys doing over there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the... All right, so you see he's sitting on like a makeshift throne here at the top of the ziggurat. And he has some tough-looking guards. Uh, they don't look happy to see you. Pockmarked Poe is sitting on the throne? Yes, and one of the guards says, What business do you have with the hideous prince? And uh, Poe says, It's okay. Come on over, Goliath. Oh. Okay. And, and one of the other guards says, Kneel before the beggar king. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> Poe says, Don't. Just, it's all right. <laughs> he starts scratching. Yeah, poison ivy. So, <clears throat> what can I do for you, Ramrod? Uh, why, why are you not at your tent? Oh, I'm my other job. You could say I'm the oh. beggar king. M Mistletoe wants to see you, so you need to come back to your tent. Very well. Did, oh, he goes. Famous amulet. Did you get any of the more pieces? Yeah, maybe. It'd be cliffhanger for you. Come back to the tent. All right. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys go back to the tent, and uh, Pockmark Post says, Who has the pieces? Zamagor just raises his hand and says, Yes, foul creature, I have the pieces. I should probably hold them for safekeeping, my friend. Why? It's, it's important. If, if but someone could steal them from you. Couldn't Someone they steal them, steal from, them you? from you. They're not going to steal them from me. You've got a hole in your hand. They could steal it through your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use the other hand. Okay. Beggar kings can't be choosers. <laughs> uh, Whoa! <laughs> nice. Wow. Uh, pock, pock marked uh, man thing. Uh, I'm more than willing to hand these over to you, but you have to... Listen... A, a headless interdimensional god sent us here to handle these. Like, you're going to have to prove that it's worth it to hand them off to you. Pro he says you wouldn't even know about it if it wasn't for me. Orkesis sent you to me, remember? Do you want to make him mad? 
Can Thal make an insight check on this guy? Mm -hmm. mm. Would I be able to do that too? Mm -hmm. Just... That, that is going to be an 18 all up. Okay, you notice a couple. I, I got a 20 all up. Ooh, okay, so you guys notice a couple things. First of all, you notice behind him, his daughters are pulling like curved daggers kind of out of their boots and putting them behind their backs and they're dripping green liquid. And he's talking, he's being honest about four pieces, but it's also very obvious he just wants these pieces for, you know, he just wants them. You, don't, you know, there's no, you don't have to, you know what I mean? He knows you don't have to hand them over. He just, he really wants them. Look, uh, so Mistletoe will try to stand in, like, at, at the four, um, sensing that there's perhaps some some violence on its way, uh, and he'll try to calm things down. He'll say, uh, uh, listen, uh, Beggar King, uh, Honored Poe, uh, we will get you your uh, Dreamer's Amulet, but we would prefer to uh, conduct our investigation in our own way, the way that Vorkesis uh, intended uh, us to do so. That's why he formed our party. That's why he sent us and didn't command you to get these pieces. Uh, so you will have access to them, but for the moment would you not begrudge us just holding on to them just a little bit longer? In the end, you'll have what you seek. He looks upset and he stands there for a second and he says, very well, but if these get stolen from you, you'll be lost souls forever, trapped in raven statues. In the Hall of Final Fate. I'm sorry, sir, but that, was that a threat? I'm just pointing out something that is factually accurate. My good lady. But ah, my spine! He, like, bends over. I got stepped on like by a Brontosaurus one time. Sorry about I'm sure a lot like worse is going to happen to you if we find those amulet pieces stolen or misplaced for some reason. That's, that's fine, all right? That's fine. His daughters come over. Are you okay, Dad? He's like, please help me get to the chair. It's my back. Damn, Brontosaurus. Um, sir, before we leave, um, does the does the name Nang Nang mean anything to you? He turns. Nang Nang, you say? Yes, Nang Nang. No. We um. We... Not at all. Can, can we get another insight check on that? <laughs> He's not telling the truth. <laughs> Not at all. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I'll let him go. Tailbone. Um, also. Uh. So, they'll turn to the others. Like, did anyone else feel he's kind of weird? <laughs> you don't say. Clockwork not only physically, but also spiritually, and just overall weirdly. That dude is full of banana crazy pants. Hmm. Do you want to go to the party? Well then, let's, who, who wants a drink? <laughs> just clap my hands and just like <laughs> just immediately forget that this all this bad nonsense is happening, uh, and uh, happily lead us back towards the pirates. Okay, so you get to the pirate ship. Uh, something's waiting for Zavagor. Old Baker Gristle says, "Hey, there's a snake that wants to give you something, there, buddy." What one wonderful? Okay, here it comes. It's a winged snake, and in its tail it has a scroll oh. wrapped up, and it like wiggles it in your face. Here. Just, just, just <laughs> hand it over! <laughs> he opens it up. <laughs> it hisses at you and flies away. <laughs> what do you do? We still have our, our winged lizard friend? Nope, this is a winged... S oh, do you still have... Yes. Um, actually, it left you when you left the city, but now it's back. Whoop. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna call him Nope. I guess so it's, <laughs> it's a it's a call it's a callback to the uh, to the last episode as you recall, yeah. Sean. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, Zavagor just immediately opens it up and starts reading like out loud. It's a decree from Quyote. She wants you to visit her villa at once, just you, only. Ouch. Ramrod, you, you you you've enjoyed uh, your your boon of Ning Ning, right? Nang Nang fun. Yeah, uh, everyone else, you haven't really gotten a chance to try it yet. How'd you like to spy on me while I go visit Quyote? 
Um, just one moment. So, I'll I'll try and I'll make sure that I can stand perfectly horizontally on the on the side of the ship. You all have the boon, all of you. Okay. For testing that, I was like, I'm happy to. to also, watch I, it back. the other three of you feel like you kind of want the scroll for yourself a little bit. It's not you're not compelled to do it, but you feel that that urge inside of you. Like you the scroll it. itself that he's holding the message. Can Remember I walk over that? to him and say, "Hey, <laughs> give me, give me scroll." Sure. And Zavagor, you feel that's yours. And you, it was for you. And you. Wait a minute, that was mine. Ramrod uh, grabs it, or at least tries to snatch it. Okay. All right. That's uh, not like it's forcing you to do it, but that you just have a little bit of that feeling inside of you. Just... Okay. Okay. So you want to? You guys want to go stealth? Your way. I'll come, pen, but so pen. long as I can stealthily uh, <laughs> steal more fruit from that <laughs> awful lady. Okay, all right. So we're all going to go right. to the villa. Sure. Old yes. Goldfinger um, Crystal says, can the, can the, "I wanted the, the rest of you to give me something, but go ahead and have your fun. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit." No, what? Can the pirates come along, and we can make it like we're just having a party with the pirates walking around doing a pub crawl, while 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 Zavagor is near. Going in that way, we have an excuse to kind of just be around or a distraction, perhaps. Old man Gristle says, "No, I don't want to do that. I'm tired of <laughs> tired of walking." Face stabbing All Isaiah right. Hastings just looks at you with his dagger and like stab something, and walks away. And then oh, it would be fun. Punching Pearl Smitty says, "Sure, I'll go." And she walks up to to your mistletoe. And she hug, punch. Hug. She's not sure what to do. She sells for a weak uh, punch. Yeah. Fist bump her. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, Medusa Swale, Medusa Swale will go, and Inkskin is standing there, staring at you guys. Uh, wanna come? Does she wanna fun, come? Captain. Does she wanna come? I don't know. Let's see. She shakes her head. No. Oh, next time, perhaps. Come on, Medusa. Come on, punching. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna pretend that you're living it up. Yeah. Okay. But, well, I'm not pretend. I would like to actually, on the way, go and grab some drinks. Okay. And we'll just be walking through the streets, like you know, having a good time. All right, everybody who's drinking, can, can I just make a constitution can, check? Constitution well, check. And can I, can I put a pearl on the back of 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 hobby? Yes. All right. She's I feel like she would like that. You know. You know. Not everybody who's actually going to be stealthing or talking to a merchant prince need to actually drink, by the way. That, that's cool. You don't have to get... And I, I'm going to try to avoid getting drunk, by the way. You know, just watching watching it. Okay. You know. so, what did everybody get on their rolls? 15. Okay. Is that a check or a save? I don't know. Whatever. A uh, check. <laughs> If okay. it's a save, she can get her proficiency bonus. Oh, you go make a save, I don't care. Okay, well that's that's going to be a 16 then. Oh, you drink it like a champ. What about Ramrod? 17 for Ramrod. And what did Mistletoe get? 15. Oh, you guys are fine. So, blah, 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 blah. You're just... Uh, and you're making your way towards... Is, is Avagor with you? Uh, I don't think so, right? Like, I'm I'm on my way to Quayote. Yeah, more directly. We're just a we're around her estate, but we're like revelers and stuff, so that maybe her guards are like, "What's the hell's going on there?" Or something. Like that. Okay, so it's up on a. <laughs> I think it's up on a hill. So Zavagor, oh, okay. you get there first. There, you can hear them coming. You see it up there. You know, there's some guards inside. I think no, there's none outside, but you know, there's guards inside. What do you want to do? Uh, I, 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 I go in. I don't even say hi to the guards or anything. I just walk straight in. Okay. All right. So you guys... As broodingly as possible. And what are the drunk people going to do? Uh, I'm going to lead uh, the two pirates and Ramrod in a regaling drinking song that I learned from the Fae. Okay. Just, it's about a... It'll be in the theme of the old Dun Cow, where it's about a pub burning down, but people inside drink anyway. Um, how close are you getting to the manor? I mean, <laughs> very close. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Close to be Bell obnoxious, using, and uh, like the guards might be like more concerned with us and distracted. Bell is going to use her pot like a drum to go along with the beat. <laughs> 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 okay. Ramrod's um, going to attempt to sing very loudly and poorly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mistletoe too. He's so, going to attempt to sing poorly. No, he'll sing poorly. He's going to attempt to sing, but it will be poorly. Okay. I don't have to roll. Just assume it's like a natural <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> so Zavagor, you go in. A guard tell, points you to some stairs, and she's she's waiting for you. Go up the stairs at once. Okay, um, as I, like, go in, are there, you know, last time we were here, there were, like, tables with, like, fruit and stuff. Is there still stuff, like, in the foyer? Yep. Okay. There's fruit, and there's every, it's hot out, but there's a ton of torches and braziers that are lit with fire. So there's this one guard down here that you see. You were pretty sure in the past the doors on either side of this area, there was a guard on either side, but they were in a different, they were in another room. So there's one guard in here, and then there's stairs that go. Okay, uh, and and the and the group is like approaching. Can I hear them as they're getting close to the man? So yeah, you hear Grimrod <laughs> singing some kind of song. What, what is the song about? It's about people drinking in a pub that's on fire. Oh, he's that's what he's saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. and the guard says, "What what is this? What is going on?" I don't know. Sounds like troublemakers. You better go check it out. Troublemakers. All right, so the guard comes out. So you're alone now. The guard comes out. Hey. What are you doing? Having fun. I'm standing literally on top of the wall that I've climbed up, like on the edge, and I'm singing and making merry. <laughs> Get off of that wall as well, at once. You do not want to anger Quayote. No, she knows she'll come and join us. I'll, you know, I'll be drinking and doing a like a half jig type thing on the wall. He stops and looks at Hoppy. That's, that's such a big frog you have there. Yes, he come say the hello. Of his litter. <laughs> He's the runt. I'd hate to see the regular ones. He loves hugs, though. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do a He's gentle a thorn whip boy. spell to bring him in towards Hoppy. <laughs> really? All yeah. right. But not thorn damage. Whip? Just, okay. Yeah, thorn whip, but without damage, just to <laughs> Dude, bring uh, him in. Normally, towards. is it attack roll or a saving throw? It's an attack roll. All right, make an attack roll just to see if it... Yeah, it does. It's a okay. uh, 22. <laughs> so he goes right under yeah. Hoppy's belly, and Hoppy's just like... Yeah. And, you know, and punching like... pearls like... Climbs down, you know, and... Uh, yeah. be <laughs> also! Punch! <laughs> Please! Release me at once! But it, it's not letting go. So, Gavagor, you're... I told you he loved hugs. You're inside alone, what do you do? Okay, so Zavagor, the moment this guy is, like, out, out of eye and earshot, starts thinking very spiteful things. He picks up, like, uh, a couple pieces of fruit and puts them in his backpack. And then he, like... Thank you. Uh... <laughs> He, like, uh, gets one piece of fruit in a bowl, and then he pops out his vial of zombie puree from the pirate ship, and he, like, pours it around the base and, like, mushes the fruit up to make it look all rotten and gross and stuff. Okay. Uh, and then puts the vial back, and then if he has time after that, he's gonna go, like, run off to a side room and just, like, look to see who else is here. Um, there's a hallway, let's see. So what, what's your plan outside? Just continue to distract and make just, a make noise. Um, so you just, well, just want to keep whilst, this guard um, whilst this guard is caught in the hug, Val is going to try and sneak uh, sneak up the wall and through a window. Mm -hmm. Make a stealth. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good actually. Eighteen. Whoa, okay. All right, so it's basically a square. All right, first of all, there's a wall on the estate. You can crawl over the wall. You want to climb up the building, right? Yes. All right, so um, right now you're on the uh, west side, and there's two floors. Do you want to go around, or do you want to pick a window on this area, or do you want to go on the roof? Uh, 
I shall pick a window on the second floor. Okay. Uh, there's three. There's one on the left, one in the middle, one on the far side. Middle. Oh, actually, look at that. That looks like a... S oh, those are rain things. There's a lot... Of, they catch the rain here, so there's a lot of, like, barrels and stuff everywhere. All right, the middle, that's number 11. You look into what looks... A room with uh, pillows and tiger skin rugs. It looks like a small living space, but nobody is in there. And next to it, you see what looks like a master suite large lattice covered windows causing potted plants to sway gently the headboard of the master bed is fantastically carved in motifs huh. hmm. so that will just duck into that room and uh, just try and land softly on a pile of pillows okay so there's a door that leads to the other room you peeked into that's about it. She might go through, or peek around the door frame of that room. So you're gonna look into the the tiger skin rug room, or do you want to see the door in that room and see where that goes? Well, I want to see the door in that room to see where that goes. Okay. That connects to a long hallway. Uh, you see way at the other end. It's a very long hallway. Uh, there is. Uh, kind of a guard stand, Damn, rich people. standing at a door, looking impatient. Uh, and halfway down the, the hallway, on the right side, there's stairs that go down. And on the left, there's three doors. One set of double doors in the middle. Hmm. What, uh, what's everybody else outside doing? How is this guard reacting to our... Uh... Right now, he's being smothered. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'll try to let him out. Like, I'll try to, like, help him, like, uh, get some air and then, like, laugh and clap him on the shoulder, like, good naturedly and say, having fun? You know, it's like, you should come out with us uh, tonight. We're going to have a party. Make a persuasion. Or a deception, I guess. Same role, anyway. Um, 11. No. <laughs> I'm covered in slime. <laughs> It'll wash off. All right. Just wait for it to rain again. And Pearl is still holding on to his leg. It's like, could you... Mm. Why? <laughs> Alright, so... Zavagor, you... You pooped in their pocket. Yeah, bowl, um... And then so what so I, I look into the other other areas and see what's going on there. On the bottom floor or the top floor? On the on the bottom floor. Okay. Uh, there's a, a bunch of doors. There's three on the left, one in the middle, and two on the right. No guards? Stairs. Not in here, no. Okay. Interesting. Great. Uh, I, I'll turn around and just start going up the stairs. Okay. Um, Bell, you see Zavagor yep. come up the stairs. And the guard to Zavagor to your right, a guard says, You! What, what's taking so long? She's waiting. Oh, I was just admiring the fine fruit. Let, please, let take me to her. Okay. So what do you do, Val? Val is uh, going to just hide behind the doorway and just kind of peek out and watch where they're going. Then after the guard is not looking her way, she's going to start kind of crawling along the ceiling. Oh, right. Nice. Okay. Zavagor, um, the guard ushers you in. She's waiting. Do you go okay. in? Yeah, okay. yeah, I walk in. Alright, so, and when you go in, she's in there. It's like a big bedroom. and She tells the, uh, the guard, leave! Go! Tell no one to come in here. And he's like, oh, at once, you know? And they shut the door, and Val, you see him like, you know, and he, and he kind of walks this way and goes down the stairs, doesn't see you at all. So it's clear okay. now. In the room, Zavagor, she, okay. you know, I, I think you've seen her picture, right? She's got the feathers, um, yeah. and she's got hair that's like yellow and goes to red. And she's mm -hmm. purple. So she's got a lot of jewelry, and so she holds up her orange ring with the rune of Iman on it. She sticks it, like, right, like, right one inch from your face. Uh -huh. She says, what is this? Uh, y you don't know? I asked you a question. Fair, Quayote. What you hold there is a ring of immeasurable power. 
she gets a big smile on her face. Why? Well, because it's, measure it's immeasurably powerful, isn't it? I, what kind what do you mean of why? Power? What kind of power? That is the ring of a fire demon lord known as Iman. Says, I knew it. I knew it. Come. Yes. She With that ring, you have the power to control flame itself if you will it hard enough. You could take over the entire town if you wanted. Silence. She this is a big painting of Port Nine Zaru. She like slides it aside, and behind it is a keyhole. Do you know what opens this lock? Definitely a key. What is the nature of the key, Zavagor? Or is that, do I know your name? Does she know your name? What's your name? My name is Zavagor, fair quiet. Zavagor. <laughs> it was a letter addressed to him, so. Right. True. True. I already knew your name. <laughs> Testing uh, you. A fair test, my lady. Uh, I walk over to the keyhole and, and try and inspect it. It looks magic. Like, uh... like well, what's the shit? You shape? know Iman, so you would probably know. It's fire. Everything's fire. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that just, like, putting fire in front of it will open the keyhole? Mm -hmm. Okay. I say, uh... As is true to Iman's idiom, uh, flame is the answer for all of life's woes. Just do it. D do it? Make fire. Very well! I cast Burning Hand right at the painting. A and the keyhole. Shh. The whole wall slides aside silently, and it leads to curving stairs going down, lit by torches. Very hot down there. Come with me. Wait a minute, have you done this before? Have, have you have, have you been here before? Or did you just find this? Like, why are you questioning me? Well, you didn't know what the ring was, so I knew what I just it want was. to make sure we're not going to get incinerated. I knew what it was. I was testing you, fool. Down the stairs. Me first. Yes. So please, now, uh, you you're in the hallway. You see him go in. What do you do? Uh, Val has been looking. Like through either the keyhole of the door or under the crack of the door the entire time and just kind of listening in and just going seems a bit strange so if if she hears if she hears them moving away she's going to very silently open the door and just follow okay make a stealth that's a natural 20. Uh, oh wow. all right you're in. You're not no sound at all. All right, so uh, they're going down the stairs. Do you want to follow them? Yeah, she's following, but along along the ceiling. Uh, along the ceiling. Okay. So um, you guys go down the stairs. She's and... liking this nang nang boon. Mm. All right, so Zavagor. <clears throat> the stairs lead down into a basement dwelling. Uh, there's an altar. There's um, braziers. Uh, there's a circle inscribed in the ground of blood. And uh, there's the thing of hot coals with red hot pokers. And you see like manacles on the wall, but there's nobody attached to them. Uh, she says, <clears throat> Iman is going to end the death curse. She sent you, didn't she? You know, her, her or one of her friends, you know, certainly a close acquaintance, probably. Um... Mm. Um, I will fund your expedition, Zavagor. Lady Fair, magnanimous Lady Quayote, uh, the uh, the Blade Fangs appreciate your uh, your generosity, um, and I know you are not accustomed to questions, but as we are fellow Iman Ease, mm. may I ask why? Cool. You ask? Yes. <clears throat> Jesus. All my life, <clears throat> only I knew the glory of Iman. Fire only spoke to me. Now it speaks to you too, doesn't it? Yes. It does. Look into that fire. Tell me what you hear. Uh, I, I look at the fire and listen. You... You, you do listen? You do? Yeah, yeah. 
you actually hear a voice whisper, destroy the soul monger. What did it say? She says excitedly. To destroy the soul monger. She is shocked and kind of does like a little, ah, you know, like, <laughs> finally. All right. Um, here, take this. She gives you four vials of salve. And then gives you 20 blocks of incense. Whoa. Uh, gracious, magnificent Quayote, why, why, what, what are these? Why are, the, why are you gifting me such riches? Insect repellent. Oh. That's what I sell. Um, it's one of the things that I, I sell. Oh, so it's, sorry, it's four vials of salve and what? It's all insect repellent. The salve, you rub the oil on your body. For 24 hours, insects won't bother you. The incense, if you burn it within a 20-foot radius for eight hours, no insects will come in. She says the jungles of Chult are full of insects that carry diseases. Ah. Nothing that a little fire couldn't burn away, huh? Disease and fire. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> all right. Uh, she says, I have located another piece of your amulet. Um, oh. Xanthi has it. I will force her to give it to you. Just give me time. Uh, for, force, um, magnanimous, fair, beautiful, Quayote. Oh, uh, who's who's this person, and how are you going to force them to, to to give it to us? She's another one of the merchant princes. She's horrible. Avoid her at all costs, friend Zavagor. Champion of Iman. Yes, yes, I am. And, and fellow Iman-E, uh, being the champion of Iman that I am, could you tell me why this person is so dangerous? More dangerous than the person that has the cellar with prisoner and, and blood on the floor. She says, <clears throat> okay. I, Omu, at one time had a, a royal line. Uh, most of them are dead. She's trying to keep it intact. And I know... But there's someone named Princess Moaxanare out there who thinks that she rules Omu. But you and I know. We rule Omu. We will take it. We will destroy the Soulmonger. And we will rule it. Through fire. If you see this Moaxanare, kill her at once. Sacrifice her to Iman. I'm sure you've done that before. Oh, so many times. With yes. Poker, the hot poker. That's exactly how we do it. Yep, you're a natural. Thank you. Yep. Uh, well, thank you very much. Um, how how will I know that uh, that the deed has been done and that uh, you have uh, forced her to give us the piece of the amulet? I'll send a winged snake for you. Hmm. Yes. That that did prove effective, didn't it? Uh, very well. Um, thank you. And. Uh, uh, is there anything else that I may serve you with? Uh, perhaps some more fire. If any of my concubines give you trouble, let me know. I'll punish them myself. She picks up a red-hot poker. Oh. I'll definitely do that. Yes. Two of them are succubi. Do you know that? I, I did not know. How did you get succubi? Gifts from Iman. Oh, that wonderful gift giver. Um, oh, that's why they're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my fair lady, if there is nothing else with which uh, I may assist you, yes, be gone. I, I will leave. Uh, one last final note. Um, you know, Iman, uh, that the nature of fire is to purify things. I can't help but notice the pure nature of the castle and the fineries and uh, the uh, pure nature of your servants. Uh, I would hate to have you lose that favor from Iman. Um, there is a fruit in your main room that has gone most foul. And I, I just bow and walk away. The one that I poured the puree on. She just gives you a weird look. So you're going up the stairs? Yep. So Val, Val is going to start backing up. Uh, are you going to try to hide is, from she, him? or she, She's going to start walking backwards a lot along the roof uh, back up the top. If if uh, if Savagor does see her, she'll just kind of make a face at him like, I don't I don't like this this Quayote woman. 
do you want to hide from him, or do you want to... Uh... Uh, hide, hide from Quiethe, but not from Zavagor. Because okay. he, so Zavagor, he knew this was happening. You start going up the stairs, and you see her standing on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you give me that look, I like mouth like, I know, I know. <laughs> and, and just leave. <laughs> and how are you leaving, Val? Uh, if there's a window out just outside this uh, room that the painting was in, mm. or some a room on the second floor hallway, then she will dive out of that. There's three doors. There's one regular one, then one a double door on the right, and then a third one all the way at the end of the hall. Which one? Uh, maybe she'll go go to the end of the hall, back back out the way she came in. You're just gonna go? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You get out fine. So you, you guys are outside. You guys are drunk. Um, the guy. I'm drunk. <laughs> oh well, the guy. You know, the guy is just drunk. He's just gonna please. <laughs> he's he's my new best friend. What's your name, buddy? I, I, I can tell you. <laughs> Just roll uh, that random name generator. <laughs> Osaw. Or Osor? Osaw. Osaw. Osaw, you, my friend, you are going to come drink with us. Okay, one of these no! nights, okay? You you tell us when you're when you're free, when she doesn't have you working, and, and you're gonna just you're gonna have a good time with a thunder and lizard. Trust me, Osaw. Be never. the best night you've had. Never. Uh, don't say never. Uh, 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 a little bit. He sees his and he gets all deferential. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. he's yes, gonna be there um, too. He's gonna be there too. Oh, saw. Great I'll point to that. Shut up. Well, in fact, Quiote told me <laughs> that if you didn't come, you know, come participate with us uh, and help us in any way we could, she'd punish you. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. No, oh. I don't believe that at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, I believe you are mistaken. I've got fair work enough, to do. Fair enough. You might want to clean up that rotten apple before she gets to see it. Rotten Very apple. Well. He starts to run off. <laughs> so, what did you find out? I say. I will rejoin the rest of the party now. Okay. You tell him everything. Yeah. We'll... yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, everything. Like the whole Iman thing too. Like, yeah, like yeah, Zavagor has no real affection for Iman or her plans okay. or anything, so... Mm. Okay. Well, then, to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, what, what do you want to do with the pub? Uh, I was, well, maybe back to the, the pirate ship, maybe. That'd be a better uh, use of I our time. I know that Val has some questions for Isabella Inkskinlock. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Alright, so you go back to the ship, you see her standing, looking out at the sea, her hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> Val fans There's... herself down a bit. <laughs> she's, she doesn't, she's, her back is to you. And you can see her treasure map tattoo it covers like her whole back. Uh, excuse me, uh, Miss, Miss Locke. Captain. She turns. Man. Slowly. Uh, she has to brush the hair out of her face. It's so hot right now. <laughs> what have you what have you heard or do you know of something or somewhere called Omu? Um she shakes her head no. Mm. Unfortunate. Thank you anyway. She 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 Waves you over. Oh, okay. She's sure. gonna whisper in your ear. Zombie Island? Val will smile and go. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, um, she starts getting people around, and Medusa Swale says, Oh, well, it'll take a day or two, but then we can go. I know you guys have that bathhouse appointment tomorrow as your reward. I'm sure you're gonna want to. Take care of that, right? The what? At the bathhouse. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh, yeah that place tickets. that Hoppy blew up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the place that uh, Quayote wants us to go, right? That was, those are a gift from Quayote. The... Oh, yeah. And oh, obviously, yeah. we should be doing everything that Quayote tells us, right. shouldn't we, Stavagor? Yes. 
I suggest we uh, honor Iman with a roast chicken sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do anything else? has a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and a well-funded one at that. Nice. Are you guys going to do anything else special on this day before the bathhouse? Um, I don't know. Not, I mean, just kind of lounge around and carouse and stuff and... I'm I'm going to going to make sure that Zavagor stole some stole some fruit and uh Yes. Oh can I take it for hobby? Uh, yes, I a peace offering for my hasty stabbing uh when we first met. Go on, Hoppy. He's just like suction, 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 suction. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tentacle hug, all four, pfft, squish, right into the uh, belly. Right in the belly. Yes. It's returned by mistletoe. Let me give you like a little, like that. Oh. <laughs> then up and down. <laughs> I call, um, call out to a punching pearl smithy and say, hey, you're missing out on the hugs. She runs over. Get over here. You're a big guy and me, you know. <laughs> Alright, um, I, I guess, I guess, Mistletoe is gonna try to... You guys really Mr. punched my soul, you know that? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to spend the day kind of, um, making friends with the pirates a bit more, and trying to, you know, learn a bit more about them, and just build up that camaraderie with them. Okay. Uh, yeah. So any of those who are willing to talk or chat or share life stories. Um, old all... Baker Gristle sent somebody else out. He wanted you guys to go get some um, one-gallon barrels of Tedge, which is a special kind of alcoholic drink sold Tej? in Port Nines are T E J. It's like honey-based or something. Like a mead. I nice. guess. And uh, that's what they're going to be drinking. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> They're very sloppy, so, you know, they, there's no... Um, Mistletoe used to be a brewer as a profession before he That's went right. off and did this stuff, so he, yeah. he is actually proficient in using brewer's kits and stuff. So he is very interested in possibly learning how to make Ted or any other kind of drink or um, as well, sort of as a, a hobby of his. It's an amber-colored fermented drink made from honey. It's uh, more common and popular in Schult than beer or ale. And uh, the sale of Tedge is controlled by the merchant prince, Quayote. Oh, she's involved in everything. She's a kingpin, queenpin, princepin. <laughs> Got her infernal little hands on everything. Mm -hmm. mm. So they all get drunk. What do you want to know about them? There's Captain Isabella, there's Medusa Swale, Old Baker Grizzle, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's... bunch of pearls. <laughs> I want to know, the, if Captain. you can, what's the story with... Um... With Captain Locke, why doesn't she, why does she whisper all the time? What happened to her? Medusa Swale will pull you aside. <clears throat> mm. uh, common was not her first language. It was, you know, fish person. She she was raised by the shark people, so she's never shark. really mastered the language, and she's embarrassed by her accent, so she doesn't what's talk her, much. What's it sound like? I ask. Medusa, like, since she's heard her. I, I don't think I've heard... It's just like yet. an accent, basically. Just... Okay. But it, she's, she doesn't really have a good command of the language. Like, she can't write. Okay. And if you used a big word, she probably wouldn't know what it was. She had, a rough, she get that... she had a rough life. Where'd she get the sword, and why does her hair constantly sweep in the wind, like, even when there's no wind? You noticed... <laughs> I did notice, yeah. She's special. Well, she is a sorcerer, so... Magic. Oh, okay. What was the other question besides the hair blowing in the breeze? Any the sword things? that she has. She has that really cool Brine sword. Sting. Uh, I think she's had that since she was with this Sawagan. That's, uh... When you stab somebody with it, it pours salt into the wound. And it's oh. especially devastating to any sea-based creatures. They start laughing and chuckling, and they say, You know what? Old Baker Gristle says, 
I think you guys should pay Aramag when we go out there, right, everybody? And they all start laughing. Yar, har, 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 you know? I, I laugh, too, even though I have no idea what they're talking about. What, <laughs> who's Aramag? <laughs> He's the protector. You gotta pay the toll when you go by him. He's a big dude. Oh, yeah? Hmm? <laughs> So, like so a big pirate we're gonna give you the treasure chest, right, with all the gold in it, because we're stupid. And uh, okay. he's gonna say, <laughs> "Give me some treasure," and you're gonna have to pick how much. And if you don't give enough, he's gonna get mad. <laughs> I don't want him mad at me, man. Ramrod steps up and he says, "You need me to take care of this guy for you?" <sighs> all right, listen here, young fellow. Um, um, my accents are getting all mixed up. Uh, I'm old man, right? Listen here, big young ripple. fella. Uh, you're, you're not going to beat up on Aramag. I don't want to spoil the surprise, but you got no chance, okay? No chance. And you'll see why when you meet him. He's a little taller than you. <laughs> Everyone's like, har, har, har. Just a little bit, says some pirate guy. <laughs> I'd like to see him so fight I'll anyway. <laughs> I, I'll bet well, on I'll bet on Aram. Hey, Ramrod! Some random generic pirate says. I'll, <laughs> I'll bet on I'll bet on him against you. Well, you lose that bet. <laughs> okay, wait. How much gold do I have? I'll grab it. <laughs> I'll bet thirty gold, matey. Ramrod, bet he doesn't smash Maul across your head. How about that? No, 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 no. You're gonna fight Aramag. If you lose, I get your gold, and if you die, I get all your stuff. How how about it? Do you have the courage? Or are you going to walk the plank of shame? <laughs> um, bring it on, let's go right now. We go to Aramag. <laughs> Everybody's like, don't do that, Keith. No, 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 we're doing it. Uh, you, mistletoe? Mistletoe. It's be a good fight. I, I, I bet I'm going to regret mistletoe. my bet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll say, let's, let's find out. Let's first... What? Why don't we... Uh, why don't we check on this bet only once we see or uh, assess who this person is, this Aramag fellow. Wait, shake right now. Give me your hand. Of... Give me your hand. Take <laughs> it. Like, uh, you take it. You uh, take it, Don't worry about that. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't doesn't bet doesn't count if one doesn't know what's going on. You know, we have to find out. <laughs> I thought you were tough. Are you weak? You scared of this guy? It's just one guy. Ramrod. Done. I try to Ramrod get takes his hand. Check. Let's go right oh. now. Too late. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Can I see your stuff? <laughs> he starts going through your stuff. Oh, look what we got here. He, he finds the fake uh, dinosaur detector. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go! It's like literally <laughs> hard. Oh, 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 there's wait. the blows. All I of found your, me some all your stuff is with me, right? All of your stuff is with me, right? <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the valuables. <laughs> so he doesn't have anything on him. Yep, so. uh, <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm, I feel a dinosaur coming, guys. <laughs> wow. Here you go. <laughs> Uh, Val is going to go over to Old Man and just ask, um, while we were in the jungle, we had, we had some experiences. Um, do, do you know what Nang Nang is? What do you ask? Old Man. He says, Nang Nang. <clears throat> all right, lady. I don't know much, but I, all right, I heard, I heard... I heard names like that on Zombie Island, okay? There was some survivors on Zombie Island, and they banded together like a family, but they died one by one. But I met them a couple times, and they didn't trust me. They let me join the ranks for a while, but then, you know, there was bad guys within it, and there was lots of fighting and cannibals and stuff. But anyway, they talked about Nang Nang. There's some shrines on that there, Zombie Island. And there's one with symbol of your frog fella there. Did you know that? How about that? It's frog fella. Yeah, that's right. My, my there's some kind of son. There's some kind of old gods from ancient history. And this uh, Nang Nang might be one of them. I'd bet my the hand that I cut off by myself on it. If I still had it. I left it in the forest, though. So, yeah! Mm-hmm. Yes. Sounds awesome. <laughs> you guys ready to go to the bathhouse, or is there anything else you want? 
<laughs> I'm ready for a bath. I've still got hobby slime on me. All right. <laughs> yep. Oh, um, we're gonna have to go to the bathhouse next week. Because we're out of time. Uh, oh. Oh, Hi, everybody. Uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>